what's up guys Juan here and in today's video um so i get this question a lot right a lot of people will come into my channel and they'll ask me hey which nzxt pc did you pick from the pre-filled website is it the starter pc is it the starter plus so i thought you know instead of just replying to the same comment a million times i'll make a video and i'll show you guys exactly what i chose and then you guys can go ahead and make a decision on which one will be the best fit for you uh, again if you have any questions in regards to anything uh, in regards to the channel uh, drop it in the comments down below uh, if you guys find this video useful like it and if you want to stick around for more content in the future make sure you guys subscribe to the channel all right so here's a website of course nzxt.com um, so again you have a bunch of different options as to which pc you can pick out so the easiest one you can go to the pre-build so they, they'll give you options on the pre-builds here. So they'll give you the starter PC series, and then you can choose like the starter plus the starter pro each one, you know, they have like different price ranges because they each have different components within the PC. As you can tell the CPU, it varies per build. Um, so it so was pretty much every component vary in built and depending on what you put into your PC, will be what kind of performance you get out of it. So of course the starter pro will be the best performance compared to all the other ones. Uh, so the main question that I get is which one out of these three did I pick? So when I bought my PC, they actually didn't have these options available. This is something new. Uh, what I did, I just picked all the parts myself uh, and I based this uh, on my budget. So it was depending on how much money I had at the time, right? Um, so you can just go to start your PC, start your PC right here. And then this is exactly the process I went through. So it made me choose which games I played at the time. I really only cared about Fortnite, So I played Fortnite. I was like, maybe I kind of want to play some like single player games. So, so I chose Tomb Raider and then I chose Apex because it was just another, um, it was just another, uh, battle Royale that I could play, you know? So that was my price. You can change it from 1080, 1440. So pick your price, right? So this is what I, I chose. So I went to pick your price and then it shows you uh, based on the price, it'll show you how many frames you're going to be able to get on your PC, right? I'm like 60 frames. Mm, I kind of want to get, you know, something better. So I upped it to a thousand, right? So I'm like, okay, 1500 might be a little bit too much, you know, for me personally at the time here, you can choose Intel or AMD know what kind of build you want to get i chose intel again i didn't i wasn't that knowledgeable when i first got my pc so i was like you know 1500 might be a little bit too much for me so i configured and when you configure here on the website you can choose all the individual parts so it'll start with the case with the cooling the motherboard etc and so on of course uh, and then as you go it'll show you what kind of frames or what kind of performance you are getting on the pc uh, again, when I bought my PC, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot older. So the parts were a little bit different compared to what they offer now, uh, especially with the new GPUs and stuff. Uh, but yeah, here is where you can just pick out every single component of your PC and price. So you can fit that more to what you can, you know, afford or what's in your budget, etc. So it's pretty simple. And I hope that this kind of broke it down a lot more easier for you guys. Um, again, I made, I'm making this video because I get this question so often and hopefully this will be a lot easier because you know, it's easier to visualize something in my opinion than to just read it, uh, in text. So this is exactly what I did. Um, you know, if you guys are going for the pre-built PC, I would wait for those GPUs to come in stock and then get one of those. Cause those are definitely worth it. And then at the end, of course, you just check out, you can either pay um with a firm which is kind of like credit so you can pay monthly on it or you can just you know drop your um drop your stack on it but that's pretty much it again if you guys have any questions in regards to this let me know down below i'll be happy to answer any questions you guys may have and uh, if there's anything you guys specifically want to see in the future comment down below as well uh, but with that being said i will catch you guys on the next one